Hello everyone. Most sad to welcome you to the 29th episode of Starfield. We are getting frostbite, so we better keep moving. And uh, in the last episode, we let's go inside first. In the last episode, we came here to find out the uh, terror moths and their source. We opened up this uh, office building. Let's uh, let's cure the frost frostbite first. There's the control panel. Still looks operable. Of all the things to survive. One trouble and locker key. I like, I like. Yeah, this is the control panel. I'm gonna come into it. Get stick. Okay, master lock. That I'll have to try. Andreja. Andreja. One, two, we have only two singles, so have to be careful on that. I believe this and this. better than that one okay of xenobiology trauma bandage what else do we have med pack contraband locker key okay but no contrabands over here Only ammo and uh, that should do. I don't mind. Why frostbite? Come on! I'm inside. Aurora! Yay! Do I need Aurora? Do I have anything for frostbite? We have uh, two uh, things for frostbite cure, but we are not gonna use it now. Transcription process engaged. Playback initiated. 
Admiral Sanon, we need to make the evacuation request. That's... that's my father he's addressing. He... was here? Didn't think he'd have the guts to look those soldiers in the eye before blowing this place to pieces. Admiral! It just... transformed. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Colonel, the troops that closed off the sewers after Good my under there. they're all in this facility. Other than our casualties, yes, sir. Good. Get them into defensive positions around the spaceport. No one leaves. I'll send ships as soon as possible. Thank God. None of us wanted to go down swarmed by those things. That won't be your fate, Colonel. You have my word. Transcription complete. Physical copy available. An invisible weapon. He knew. He knew about the Lazarus plant. Yeah, I believe so. Grab that recording. We... We should talk. I think you may be trying to take a little too much on. Hey, Victus. He destroyed this place. Killed these people to keep what he knew about the Lazarus plant and the terror morphs and all this a secret. Didn't he? I believe so. That's certainly how I interpret. He saw the potential of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people. Condemned this city to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. He was a... Was... A cold-blooded murderer? Yes. Exactly what we all thought he was. But I guess... I guess that's just another part of his sick legacy now. He thought he was protecting us all, taking the secret to his grave. Only he didn't succeed. Now someone else knows about the Lazarus plant and is using it exactly how he feared. I don't want to lie because this guy is alive. I don't want to tell her the truth either. Listen, we should get moving. We have got work to do. Right. Settled systems are counting on us. Yes. Me? Uh, Angela. You have to help me out over here. Mm -hmm. Yes. I am happy to help. Right. So. We are ready, I believe. Let's go. Careful. Bridge. We have bridge. <coughs> Nothing happened. Let's move. I hate this sound. Come on. Can't I turn this off? I really, really hate this sound. It reminds me of the first time I made Terror Morph in Tau City. Tau City. 
Okay, I believe we are ready. Let's go. I see nothing. Come on, you guys. Grab it. Why don't you do that? Why can't you do that, man? Good. Now just stash that sample with Kaiser and we're done. Oh, sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Yeah. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. See you soon. Let's go, let's go. There's a way up there. These animals went over here. Why did you guys attack, huh? Must be boils of victory to do I that. Suppose. In all their messy glory. If you tell me you are you are under influence, then I don't believe you. You should have your own mind. Just because you said you were under influence, you attack me. Even if the termos are gone, you will be dead. 
I'll hunt you down like this. And we are back in London here. The outskirts of it. Look at all of you. Back from the underworld. <laughs> Got pretty frantic on the comms towards the end there. But it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. Sure did. Kaiser got all the samples in storage. Ah, best place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vic Victus knew about this damn plant? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. Plenty of suspects. I, I don't want to lie that you are right. Vevictis couldn't have been involved with the attacks, or say actually we can't rule him out. Vevictis is alive and under UC custody. I don't want to say anything. Plenty of suspects. That's for sure. <laughs> that's putting it lightly. But it's clear someone knows about the plant and realized what ends it could be put towards. Captain. We need to get these samples back to the lab, and Verify will be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But in the interim, do you think you could look into what we uncovered? See if you can turn up any information on who might have committed the attacks? Yeah, I'm sure. If it were me, I started the scene of the crime. New Atlantis. New Atlantis. Yeah. Oh, I've got some ideas who could have been involved. Perfect. Once you finish your investigation, we'll meet you outside the cabinet chambers. They're gonna want to hear this. Take care of yourself. No telling who might be involved. So we're in level 20. Visiting the Lantinian Nets left me with a longing for Nira. I did not think this was possible. Thank you, guys. Best of luck on your fact-finding mission. The samples are preserved. Babe, let's go. And this is the Achilles, right? Yeah, this is. Our frostbite is getting worse, so let's get back to the ship before we can uh, cure our frostbite. I don't want to cure it and then get frostbite again. Let's go. Captain. Hello. Let's go. I am satisfied to see that you. Any adventure you can fly away from. Yep. This and is, uh, hello. Give me if back my anything... things. I'll uh, take them off of you. Until next time. Yeah, we are hey, going to going? keep things over here. So I'll see you soon. Our container is in max capacity. Let's. Uh, Go in uh, our journey then. Let's do one thing. Let's go directly. Oh, no, yes, 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 we have contraband, right? Why do we have bounty in uh, UC? We'll see about that when we land here, land there. I'll meet you guys in. Uh, you see, I believe. So we are in uh, Jamison in UC. We sold those contrabands, and now we are going to go to see Vevictis. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Okay, so uh, I saw 
some bounty on me. 450. I don't know. I was hoping that they are gonna let me know why there is a bounty on me. But now it is in there. Let's go to Mass District. What is it? We are uh, ready to go. Let's go to subsection 7. Babe, you'll have to stay do, over here. Do you here. need something? Yeah, stay here. I can do that. Thank you. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. What friend? My friend is way over there. Can't you see? Man, oh man, you have some serious things to say to clear me out. Something you find big you're we looking find. For. Yes. Oh, we did, and a whole lot more. Good news then. So, what exactly are you doing here? Plenty still to be done in defeating the Terramors, no? Please stop. You murdered UC citizens. And you're going to pay for it. Now confess. Now what in the heavens would make you claim something as ludicrous as that? We recovered a recording. An invisible weapon. You were talking about the term offs. Did you? Well, I don't know what you think you heard on this recording, but... I sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusion. So oh, yeah? After all, given the cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. No more lies. Confess or I turn over what I found. <laughs> You know you're far more clever than I expected. You want to hear the words then? Yes! I did it. The Terramorph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. My doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I. Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now. Being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. Associate, who have you been working with? All in due time. First, I want to see if you're truly as astute as you appear. So why would someone like me go through all this trouble? To work on something that long, this seems personal. You can be more right. The attacks were a correction. Thought when so. I discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found. But we were at war. And I can risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. So I ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport. Fixing two problems at once. Halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak. And sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential.
You just said it took you years to use the plant outside London Yen. You killed them for nothing. Simple to say now. But with the outbreak raging from a barely understood source, the moment demanded quick action. So I did what was required. I removed the dangerous variable from an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter... She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais. Orlais? He waited me all these years, and whom I always slated I killed to take him. the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. What the? Uh, so I am your cleanup crew? You must think you're very clever. Captain, please. You've benefited here as much as I have. Maybe more. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. They'd be honoring me for cleaning up your messes. I... Yeah, let's go with that. You're being honored only because I arranged the situations where it could happen. Be grateful. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands. Maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlais's role in the attacks to the cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlais and Orlais alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. I hope you have enjoyed this talk because once I tell the cabinet, it'll be probably your last. That is a pity, Captain. But I am in no position to negotiate. Though we needn't be enemies, you and I. Just think about the opportunity I've provided here. There are more on the horizon. If you do the right thing. Oh, man. something uh, that guy is not wrong he is not 100% wrong he actually did help people 
in a, in a different way, in a critical way. But he actually did. I know, I know, I'm not liking it either. But think about it. If the terramuffs are gone forever, that is better. But to do that, they had to have the data which was kept in Armastide, right? And they wouldn't ever, ever let it come out to to Hadrian, and uh, she wouldn't get the data unless there was an attack on the UC in uh, in Jemicon, Jemison. He is right. I hate to admit it, but he is right. I am still mad at him, though. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. F you. Andrija, let's You have my go. attention. I will watch your back. Yeah, I know you will, babe. Let's go to the cabinet. Babe, come on. Come on. Yes? What? Adrian, Major? Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Oh, did I? Any leads on who might have committed the attacks? I so want to say it was very victis. I managed to get him to confess. But he was right. It was a man named Dr. Regina and Orlais. He prepared the attacks. Orlais? Reginald Orlais? He did this? I didn't think he was still alive. You're sure it was him? You knew Orlais? Oh yeah. Both worked for UC Defense Research way back when. Different departments, but everyone knew Orlais. Had a mean eye for weapons tech. And a meaner temper. Wasn't exactly a surprise when he fled instead of standing trial after the colony war. But finding out he's taken up mass murder in the years since. That is a shock. You're sure about this? Positive. The evidence is on its way to the cabinet as we speak. If he is responsible, let us hope the cabinet deals with it swiftly and harshly. That's some impressive work. So then give us the rundown. Where's Orlais now? Were you able to bring him in? Was on a mission to bring him in and uh, I killed him. Didn't realize what he'd done at that time. Huh, I see. Wish we could have questioned him, but, well, there's nothing we can do at this point. Any idea why he might have done it? Or what he was doing with the plant? Mm. 
Not sure. I never found a confession. I can't imagine the amount of work it took to deploy the Lazarus plant off-world. Strange to go to all that trouble and not state your reasons. Well, the man knew how to hold a grudge. I wouldn't be shocked if this was him getting back at the UC for trying to put him on trial. Hmm. I guess. Well, at least you won't be able to hurt anybody else now. Might be the best we could ask for, given the circumstances. So I guess there's nothing else to do but get this all in front of the cabinet. Unless there were other things we needed to discuss. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Which method of dealing with the Terramorphs are you two leaning towards? Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in, see if they have a preference. So, both approaches to clearing our worlds are effective against heat leeches? They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. And the Asili seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> What kind of risks are there if we decide to bring back Asilis? Asilis aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. But they've already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so the risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal. Using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Yeah, Given what we so. know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Asilis, we're at least dealing with known risks. So, if I'm understanding it clearly, Asilis is safer, but it will take time. And uh, the microbes would do it faster, but there are risks. Nothing else on my mind. Let's head in there. And here we go. Babe. Come on. Let's go. You guys lead the way. Babe. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? That's correct, ma'am. It was a deliberate attack. My god. An attack? Using terror morphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Yes, it was Orlais. That appears to be the case, ma'am. The captain tracked that information down just after our trip to Londinian. Reginald Orlais? Yeah. Wasn't there a report he'd been killed recently? Yeah. Body was found floating around Etheria. Report mentioned you were sent to try and bring him in, Captain. I guess that didn't go according to plan. Ah, uh, yes. I was told about your mission and who ordered it. Did you two suspect at the time Orlais might have been involved in the attacks? No idea, ma'am. 
We just thought we were dealing with a known criminal. Hmm. Well, it appears you were ahead of the curve. This report contains definitive evidence Orlais triggered the attacks via this Lazarus plant the Captain and Major Sanan uncovered. Simply heroin. Indeed. Though it would have been preferable for him to have finally faced the UC's justice, it seems both of you are to be commended for ensuring he was dealt with before he could strike again. You have our thanks. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Yeah, I believe so. What sort of uh, measures will be will the UC be taking to protect the Lazarus plan? Well, luckily the natural hostility of Londinian makes keeping out trespassers relatively easy. But we'll ensure its growth is contained, that access to the plant is only permitted via highly regulated clearances, and that our true presence on Londinian is increased. Ma'am, I believe the other factions should be involved in securing the Lazarus plant. Tell the Freestar Collective? Wow. So they have another tool to utilize against us? I'm in agreement. I fail to see the value here. It would demonstrate to the Collective the UC isn't planning to secretly use this down the line. Agreed. Any effort to de-escalate the situation should be considered. Thank you. Well, Being as open as possible would be a valuable move. Thank you, babe. Oh, that is an interesting idea. A grand gesture. To further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So... You want us to make nice with the Collective by sharing our state secrets? No, I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions, that the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Hmm. Huh. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kolkarni. Very well. We'll get the Collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. You're welcome, ma'am. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech, presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asilis are the safer approach. I agree. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Can be. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. That And fast I results agree. always lead to the As best well. outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves. But the captain has yet to weigh in. Why me? I see. No, ma'am. Captain, I know this may not be your area exactly. of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Come on. Do we need to do anything? Shouldn't securing the Lazarus plan be sufficient? I believe we have a responsibility to do something, yes. Heavens forbid, years from now, someone reopens the Pandora's box that Orlais discovered. 
It falls to us to enact every measure required to ensure that day never comes. SLS or microbes? Deploying the SLS is the safest route. That's my vote. Terror mobs have caused enough damage. They need to be wiped out quickly with the microbes. I think I'll go with SLS because with microbes they tend to change their uh, forms. Okay? You have seen it with other viruses and everything. So, deploying the SLS is the safest route. That's my vote. I'm in full agreement. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. The first step in a bold new future. Bolder, better, and brighter. <laughs> well, I need to write that one down for later. Order, please. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Thank you. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today, Marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members me? of the TMD. Why me? As befits such a group, the cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens what? to our ranks. Class One? Class One? Yeah. For the three of us? Exactly, my dialogue. Are you joking? What he means to say is. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> thank you, Madam President. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Yeah, Speak to your I commander, so. Tuala, if I recall correctly. Yes, ma'am. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Whew. If you are free soon, could we talk? Of course, my love. Yeah. I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. Mm -hmm. We spoke of the difference between having a purpose and having goals. I believed myself right in the moment and dismissed what you were saying but thinking more perhaps i have been arrogant to assume i am right i have been single-minded in my pursuits i have always believed the decisions i made were necessary that there was no other option sometimes there i have no sacrificed options. much to be where i am now and I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it. If it got you here, then it was right. Thank you. I have always believed. No. Hoped. That is true. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet... Whatever you have done, I won't hold it against you. No, that is not what I am trying to say. I... promised to provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home, jumping from one planet to the next, living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. Uh, is it good to speak over here? Yeah, we could have talked somewhere else. Everyone's had their share of hardships. This is true, 
but I have only experienced my own. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had, maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and confusing. It seemed easier to not become attached, especially when circumstances meant I, I might never see them again, with no warning. We are social creatures. Life is better when we are surrounded by others. Until now, I have disagreed strongly with that idea. But therein lies my concern. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from others. I am here for you if you need me. I appreciate that more than you know. Okay, so let's go, babe. Not sure if those Faroon salads live in space or got separate. Let's go to Tuala. Hello, Tuala. Commander Tuala. Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a Class 1 citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. Thank you, Commander. Thank you, Commander. It's an honor. No need to thank me. You brought this all on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your Class 1 benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. That's incredibly generous. Higher-ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. There are your standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up Terramorphs. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? Hmm, Vanguard mission, Terramorphs, Percival. I've done my duty, Commander. I think I'm going to take some time off from aliens. Of course. You've earned some r, &R. Once you're rested up and ready to head out there again, you come see me. Of course, I will. But, uh... First, I'll have to do one thing. I'll go to the realtor office. Realty office. Okay. Babe. Hello? I'm always ready to make a deal. Well, well, if it isn't the United Colony's newest Class 1 citizen, you've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. Thank you. In fact, the higher-ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Of course. I'm interested. Great. You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Okay, you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. <laughs> now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. I believe so. 
Mercury Penthouse. Babe, let's go and uh, visit my new home. Oh, I shouldn't have gone through that. So we are in the residential district. Let's go as in and visit my apartment. What do you think of it, babe? Come inside. There's the kitchen area. There's the lavatory. The washing. There's a bedroom. And there's the master bedroom. Whoa, so that means, babe, this can be our children's bedroom. Okay. And this should be another lavatory. Yep. the spaceport and there's my ship so I believe that is the end of this episode guys I am really surprised where it came we made some hard decisions I know you may or may not like it but it was hard for me as well what Vivek is saying He's, he did some bad things but he did it because it had to be done. Someone had to do it and he was the one who did it. So I had to, I had to keep his secret inside me. If you are not a sub, please consider subscribing because that is my fail and with that fail we are going to go through this journey and while you subscribe don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and you can be sure that from the next week we are going to do three episodes a week for this series for Starfield so Press the thumbs up button if you like the video and if you did not, you can still press the thumbs down button but I'll urge you not to. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Till then, stay safe, take care and bye bye. Moves, signing off.